English Intensive Program 011 Grammar The Simple Present Tense Part 1 The Learning Objectives By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Form the Simple Present Tense appropriately Recognize the use of the Simple Present Tense Use adverbs of frequency with the Simple Present Tense Identify the spelling rules of the third person singular final S, E, S. The simple present tense, affirmative and negative statements. Look at the following pictures and pay attention to the form of the verb in the texts. This is Tom. He wakes up early in the morning. He makes his bed before he goes to school. He doesn't have a computer. This is David. He is a teacher. He teaches English. He drinks coffee, but he doesn't smoke. This is Mr. Smith. He lives in London. He works for a big company. He reads the newspaper every morning. He doesn't drink coffee. He drinks tea. The simple present tense, affirmative statements. Use the base form of the verb, for example, play, with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples. I speak English. You play football. We study hard. They sleep early. Notice here that we use the base form of the verb with the personal pronouns I, you, we, and they. Use the best form with the verb plus S, E, S, for example, plays, with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Example, he goes to school, she teaches English, it rains a lot. Notice here that we use the best form of the verb plus S or E, S, with the personal pronouns he, she, and it. The simple present tense, negative statements and contractions. Use do not plus base form of the verb or don't plus base form of the verb, for example, do not play, with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. You do not play football. You don't play football. We do not study hard. We don't study hard. They do not sleep early. They don't sleep early. Use does not plus space form of the verb or doesn't plus space form of the verb. For example, does not play with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Examples. He does not go to school. He doesn't go to school. She does not teach English. She doesn't teach English. It does not rain a lot. It doesn't rain a lot. Be careful. Don't add S or ES to the base form with doesn't. Use the base form without S. Notice here that after the auxiliary doesn't, we use the base form without S. The simple present tense, yes, no questions. Listen to the following short conversation and pay attention to the word order in yes-no questions. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Do you live in a house? No, I don't. I live in an apartment. The simple present tense, yes-no questions. Begin your yes-no question with do 
with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. I speak English very well. Begin your yes-no question with does, with the personal pronouns he, she, or ek, or with the singular form of nouns. Examples. Does Adnan know your email address? No, he doesn't. Adnan doesn't know my email address. Notice here that in yes no question, we begin the question with auxiliary verb, followed by the subject, followed by the base form of the verb. Be careful, don't add S or ES to the base form with DOES. Use the base form without S or ES. Notice here that we use the base form of the verb with the auxiliary DOES. The simple present tense, WH questions. Listen to the following short conversation and pay attention to the word order in WH questions. What does your father do? My father is a teacher. He teaches English. What does your father do? My father is a mechanic. He repairs cars. The simple present tense, WH questions. Begin your question with a question word such as what, where, when, who, why, how, what time, etc. Then use the same word order as in yes-no questions. Examples. Where does your friend live? He lives in London. What do you do in your free time? I read a lot and sometimes I go to the gym with my friends. Pay attention here to the word order in WH questions. We start with a question word followed by the auxiliary verb, followed by the subject, followed by the base form of the verb. 